let's build a PC. Uh, but with this. This video is sponsored by Be Quiet, featuring their new Silent Base 801. Its powerful stands and silent design make it perfect for today's build. The chassis can be inverted for a unique aesthetic, sound damping material is literally everywhere, and three included pier wings to fans keep things cool and quiet under load. Let's see how well Lisa handles this one. He told me to stay here because over there are Cheez-Its and he didn't want you to see the Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. So instead, I'm gonna show you our components. This is our motherboard, our graphic card, our power supply, and the AMD processor. Of course, we have an orange black build today because that matches for the Be Quiet case. And let's see how it's gonna turn out. Yay! CP. Ooh, CPU. Okay, let's see. I have to find, oh yeah, the little arrow so I know. You have to fix this with the little arrow, right? Okay. I guess so. You guess? Oh yeah, you can't help me. So I was always scared to do this part because when I first time built my PC, I put like a lot on it. Is that okay? Yeah, it's yeah it must be good. Now it's time to complain in the comments below. We're gonna go today with the box cooler because Look at this piece. It's a beast. It's beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually pretty heavy. And from all that I remember, these Intel um, plastic CPUs, you would never use them, right, for a PC build? The plastic, the mean plastic fans? Yeah, with the small um, little plastic fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, never. Did you get it? Yeah, oh, wow, I, I'm impressed. Okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna, go ahead, do it right. Oh, I do it right, okay. Swing it all the way around. Almost got it. Oh, oh there it is. I'm always scared I don't want to break things. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's on there now. Yeah, there yeah. <laughs> yes, you can't help me with that. I know that. There you go. You know, okay. you, didn't, you haven't even unlocked the Wrong, this? wrong, wrong. No, you're, you're, pulling a, you're pulling a verge here. This there one. You go. And this one. There you go. If you notice on this board, uh, you can see it says GDR44. And DDR4, 2, 3, and 1. So you want to do 1 and 2 first. Ah, uh, okay, there right here. There you go. Most, most boards will nowadays tell you. Okay. Good. First one without breaking it. <laughs> you notice I'm shaky. There you go. <laughs> and uh, that black and orange is looking pretty sweet right about now. Doesn't it look sexy? Oh my gosh, I think I need some biceps. Hmm, I'm gonna lay it down, I think, right? I like doing it this way so the screws are not disappearing. And uh, this motherboard has an integrated back plate, so there's no need to push one into the case beforehand. You, you wanna use the CPU cooler as kind of like a handle. Don't, don't hold the board, because you're gonna have to push the board against the case. Okay, 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 okay. I, I totally get it. Like, it feels kind of sketchy, but that's, that's a conventional way to do it. I mean, if you're not used to building a PC like all the time and then you're super sensitive with everything. Okay, now I got him. This table is perfect, perfect height to build. Let's get it sideways now. Pepsi, that's not a toy, Peps. You want to do that for me, Peps? Here? This one is HD only that's here. Yay! Mm, now you're impressed, huh? I'm impressed. Yeah. So this is USB. Uh huh. Wow. Is that a fan? <laughs> That's for the fan hub, yes. Uh, okay. This case does come with a fan hub. So, system fan. Cables. So I need for the graphic card. <laughs> and I'm gonna need for the motherboard. Yeah. So I need this one. And this one next to it. Also, just kind of a side note here, uh, a 1000 watt power supply is severe overkill for the system we're putting together. Uh, so you could actually get away with something as little as maybe 450 to 500 watts. Believe it or not, uh, Ryzen is actually very power efficient and the graphics card we're going to use is also fairly efficient. So uh, total system power consumption under heavy load shouldn't exceed 
I'm expecting 350 watts, maybe 400 worst case. So uh, optimal wattage for power supply would be around 600 watts. Uh, we're just going 1000 watt here because, well, it's really all I have on hand. Uh, and I really like using these custom sleeve cables from Cable Mod. So that's kind of why we chose what we did. But uh, we'll link a more affordable, more reasonable power supply in the video description. Let's get the graphics card sideways. Um, okay, I think I have to check on the video how this is gonna work. Any slot frames and connect the opposite end of the riser cable to the motherboard. I recommend the uppermost 16 link PCI slot, by the way. So we have seven slots that I think I have to unscrew everything. looking in it that's beautiful and black and orange oh, right yeah. so it's just gonna fit perfectly with the rest of the goodies in there Yeah, but this is really short. You see, I can't go. One cool thing about the solid state drive is that it actually doesn't make any noise so if you want to have a quiet system you should probably go with the SSD. This is take 20. Push and go. is not really hard but making it look unique that takes time let me tell you cable management well it needs some practice because for the first time i did this actually like when i back then built a pc it didn't really look in the back organized at all so greg gave me some advice how to probably cable management and yeah that's the outcome. So I think she had a lot of fun. Again, though, I was, I was pretty anal about the cable management. I try to keep that as clean as possible at the rear. Um, you know, building a piece, like she said, is pretty straightforward, but when you want to turn it into a form of art, you got to take your time just a little bit. Uh, I really like the black and orange color scheme more so than I thought I would. Uh, again, thanks to Be Quiet for sponsoring the video, sending this case for us to build in. Uh, Gigabyte for sending the GTX 1070, still a perfectly viable graphics card in late 2018, by the way. Check out this video if you have your doubts. And uh, looking forward to actually using the system in the field, which is kind of a silly phrase because I'm actually just gonna be using it 
here in the office, not really in the field. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up, thumbs down for the opposite feeling. Or if you hate everything about life, click that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more content like this. This is Science Studio. Thanks for building with us.